Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, I feel something in this place. Oh, hallelujah. How many of y'all still have joy? Oh, glory. Glory. After all, after all that you've been through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about how many of y'all still got joy? I'm talking about real joy now. Don't, don't fool me now. But I'm talking about I need about two or three people to get in that aisle and give God a Holy Ghost praise in this house. Hey! Hallelujah! After all you've been through, everything the devil done threw everything at you but the kitchen sink. Hallelujah! And you still, come on, look at your neighbor and say, I'm still, I'm still praising God. I'm still going to church. I'm still lifting my hand. I'm still holy. I'm still saved. I'm still holy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Devil, you thought you had me, but I got away. I got away. I need somebody to put your hand on your side and say, devil, you thought you had me? You thought you was going to keep me in that hospital? You thought you was going to keep me depressed? You thought you was going to keep me broke down? You thought you was going to keep me broke? But devil, hallelujah, it's all good, devil. It's all good. It's all good. Hallelujah. 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 I wish I had a church that really believed what we're talking about right now. That really believe. I mean, somebody that really shown up, been through something. You know, you could have lost your mind. She said, I still got my mind. So many are walking around that don't have their mind. So many are walking around that have lost their senses. But you still got a mind to serve God. You still got a love for the Lord. You still want to praise God. Hallelujah. Hey. Yeah. You don't know like I know what is done for me. Hey, hey, he's been good to Willie, so good. So good, so good. I can't be restricted today. So good, so good. Hallelujah! Yes! Yes! It's okay to praise him. It's okay to praise him. We are church. We praise God. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. Hallelujah! Hey! Give him the praise. Yes! Give him the praise. Don't look around. Don't look at nobody else. Praise him for yourself. Praise. Don't be looking around. Don't try to figure out what somebody else is doing. Praise them for yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get mine. Yeah. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get mine. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to get mine. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory, glory. Hey. Hey. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk about Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Ah. Uh, come on, lift your hand to God. Lift your hand to God. Lift your hand to God. Lift your hand. Close your eyes. Lift your hand. 
Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Hey, God. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody about to get delivered in here. God's touching somebody right now. He's delivering somebody right now. Somebody from hurt and pain, he's delivering you right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your goodness because we can't do nothing. We can do absolutely nothing without you. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your peace that passes all understanding. Hey, God, we thank you for our mind. Let this mind be in you. That's in Christ Jesus. God, because we're not walking after the flesh, but we're walking after the spirit. And wherever your spirit of the Lord is, we declare liberty in the name of Jesus. God, give us wisdom and understanding of your word. Hey, God, do what you want to do. Have your way in this place, God. Touch every heart and mind that's listening under the sound of my voice, God. Oh, God, anoint us with your word, God. But most importantly, Heavenly Father, oh, God, shape our lives. Shape it with your word, with every word, with every, with every letter, with every word, with every sentence, with every paragraph. Shape our lives. God, let your word dwell in our hearts and our minds. God, let it permeate our spirits, God. And God, we declare and we decree that somebody will be saved, that somebody will be set free, that bondage and changes will be broken, that the ones that are enslaved will be released and freed in their mind and in their body and in their spirit. God, in the name of Jesus, we decrease, God. We can't do this. We need you to do the miracle of preaching, God, that only you can do. Use your servant, God. I'm just a mere servant, God. I come here just to deliver and pass it out, God. Shut the table, Lord. Oh, God, we're passing out. It's dinner time, God. Give us glory. We give you glory, and we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Come on, look to your neighbor and say, it's all good. It's all good. Look to the other side. Say, it's all good. It's all good. While you're standing, while you're standing, while you're yet standing, we're going to Romans, the book of Romans. Amen. Praise God. Chapter 8, a very familiar scripture. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 through 29. I'm going to read it in both the King James Version and both the NIV or the American Standard Version. Excuse me. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for, as we ought to. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknew, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You may be seated, amen, praise God. And the title of the day, amen, saints and gods, you already said it, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Saints and friends, if we read it again in the Romans, in, in, the, in the American Standard Version, you don't have to stand, but just bear with me. It says, likewise, the Spirit help us us in, in our weakness. How many know we, we're, we're weak in these bodies, and we get weak sometimes. Come on, somebody. We get weak in these bodies because we're mere mortals. We're human beings. Amen. Praise God. And we get weak sometimes. We get weak from the pressures and the things of life, amen, that bear and wear us down sometimes. Come on, somebody. We get weak, the Bible says. Likewise, the Spirit helps us. It helps us. The Spirit is there, saints and friends. God wants to help us. How many know that God wants to help you? He, he loves to help you. He wants to help you. He can't wait to help you. He's a helper. He's a servant. He loves to help. Amen. But the Spirit, it says, the Spirit amen, helps us in our weakness. We know another scripture says when, when we're weak, we know that that's when God is, is, is made strong. See, I think there's a reason why he puts us in situations where we're weak 
Because see, God wants the glory. He doesn't want to share his glory with no man or no woman. He wants all the glory. And oftentimes, if we were to do things all on our own, if we were to control everything ourselves, if everything worked out the way we wanted it to work out, if everything planned the way we planned it, if everything went the way we went, we would be our own God. Oh, y'all looking at me funny. But we would be our own God because everything we say would happen. See, only God can do that. Only God's the one that when he spoke to the heavens, there were clouds. When he named every animal, he created man and woman. He, what God is the only one when he speaks, it actually happens. <laughs> and no one else can do that. No other thing, a person or scientist can't do it. Amen. NASA can't do it. Amen. Government can't do it. No one else can speak and it just happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody else can do that. So that's why he allows us to show our weaknesses. Our weaknesses is when God becomes most relevant in our lives. It's what makes us pray. It's what makes us fast. It's what makes us, amen, praise God, get around other saints and like-minded people so that we can be strengthened and strong so that we can go and fight in this war for a battle. How many know that we're in a warfare right now? Oh, we're in a warfare. Somebody say, I'm in the army of the Lord. You may have not never did what I did, and some of us have done, Minister Tyson, some of you others, you may have not never went to, amen, the actual recruiter office and signed up, amen, praise God, and, and took the oath of office, and maybe you never did that and went to basic training and did, but I'm here to tell you, the minute you gave your life to Christ, look at some, you signed up, amen, you, you enlisted into warfare, you enlisted into, amen, praise God, a fight of your life. How many know we are in a fight of our lives? Mm, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's why it's the fight of our lives, because it's not a fleshly fight. It's not a fight you can get when you can't get caught up in yourself in this fight. You can't do this by yourself. You can't think that you're going to do this getting caught up in you. You got to understand that our weapons of warfare, they are not carnal. But the Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, saints and friends and family, but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Uh-huh. But the scripture says we, we know when he helps us in our weakness, so we need his help. That's why we come boldly to the throne of grace. Why? So we can get help. I got to go to the throne sometimes, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I got to keep coming to the throne. Because I need help. This boy need help. I, I, I mess it up. If I had to do it all myself, I'd be all jacked up. It'd be all messed up because I'd be all caught in me. Hello, somebody. And there ain't no good, perfect thing in us because there ain't nothing perfect in the flesh. Amen, somebody. But we got to get in the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. I say, God, redip me. I need a redip in every day. I need a new dip. I need a new dip in the spirit every day because some folks get on my. Oh, y'all ain't ready for this right here. Some folks get on my last nerve. <laughs> oh, can I get a witness in here? Some folks just ain't nice. They just not good people. They just evil. They just, they get on your nerve. And if you don't, you know you got Jesus. Come on, some of them, I'm talking about some of them cussing saints up in here. Y'all ain't one of them cussing saints. I know. I'm talking about some of them cussing saints. Some of them fighting saints. Them boxing Tyson saints. Miss Muslim Muhammad Ali lady, Alea Ali. I'm talking about some of y'all. You know, some of us. Such were some of you. <laughs> I'm talking about them type of people where you know you didn't really deal with a whole lot of foolishness. Some people like to talk the talk, but I'm talking about them ones that you ain't do no talking. You did the first, you took the first punch. Them Peter type people, come on somebody. I'm talking about the ones you ain't sit there and do, well, let me tell you what I'm about to do, all this. No, you just said, boop, I can show you better than tell you. But we're not talking about fighting. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about that's why we in the spirit. Because if we're not in the spirit, we'll find ourselves doing these types of things that we did when we was in the world. Come on, church, talk back at me. Am I telling the truth? We get so saved and so sanctified, we forget that we once wasn't saved. Or we don't want to admit that we still have shortcomings and we still ain't got it all together. You have not made it into heaven. Stop that mess. That's why the churches ain't coming out in the community. That's why people don't want to come to church because they're tired of the phony, fake stuff that's going on up in the house of the Lord.
But, but, but we know not what to pray for because we don't even know how to pray. Do you understand? I'm a prayer warrior. You don't even know how to pray. That's what the Bible says. We don't even know how to pray. We got to get in the spirit just so we can pray. Why? Because what does he say? Because we know not what to pray as we ought. So we know what to pray, but we don't know how to pray as we ought to. It's a difference. The devil can pray, but he don't know how to pray as he ought to. It says, then that big old, big old butt, big old butt, but the spirit himself intercede. God got to step in. Every time when he's dealing with us, he got to step in and intercede. You know what he's stepping between? He's stepping between you and the devil. That's what he got to step between you and the devil because the devil walk around seeking who he can devour. He luring you in every, he luring us in every single day. And God got the, when we get in the spirit, God step in between you and the devil and he pushed the devil out the way and he said, come on and walk with me. Somebody say, it's all good. But the spirit, I got to get out of here. But the spirit himself make it intercession for groanings into deep words. So what groanings mean when you look it up in the Greek and all of that, it basically saying he's basically, he, he's weeping. He's like, it's like, it's like a weep. It's like a sigh. It's like a sigh. Like, I got to do it again. See, God's so faithful. He, he sometimes I think he, he, he get frustrated with us too. It's, I got to do it again. That's my child. That's my child. See, God loves us so much. He said, I'll never leave her. I'll never forsake you. But just like we are with our children, do you get a sigh for your children sometimes? Come on, be honest, y'all. I got children. They don't always do what I taught them to do. They don't always do what's right. Some of, them, some of us are kind of displaced from some of our children because we hold the stain of rules and regulations and we ain't going to bend. Come on, do I got some folks up in the house that say, this is my house now. As for me and my house, uh, we're going to serve the Lord. Now, I don't know what y'all going to do, but we're going to serve God. And what you're not going to do is come up in here and tear my house upside down. Am I talking to anybody up in here that stand on the word of God and you ain't going to allow anything to happen? Amen. Praise God around you or to you or through you or even to your children. And sometimes that's a side come with that. Doesn't mean you don't love your children. Doesn't mean you don't care for them. Amen. But sometimes you got to, you do things for them and you may not always want to do it. Because you know they're not learning. You know they're not, they know they're going to do it again. Mama, can I get $500? I'm going to pay you back. Now you understand the, now y'all laughing. Because what you know, that's not a loan. That's a grant. It's not a loan. It's a grant. Yeah, you don't pay grants back. Grants are free. <laughs> so what does he say? He comes in. He searches the heart. That's why I love God. Because he searches the heart, y'all. He the only one. He's a heart surgeon, a chief heart surgeon. When he know, so you can fake a whole lot of people. You can wear the best clothes. You can do the great dance, the church dance, I call it. You can sing real good. You can preach real good. You can deacon real good. You can do whatever real good. But one thing you can't do is fool God. God do heart surgery. He go in and he look at that heart and he can tell what's up in that heart. He know if you got malice in your heart, evilness in your, you can't block God out of your heart. God go into that heart and he do a look, he look, check that heart out and say, is there malice in that heart? Is there evil in that heart? Is there nastiness in that heart? Is there unforgiveness in that heart? Is there, what's up in that heart? Is there, let me look in that heart. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. He says, because he searches the heart and he knows, he knows. What is in the mind of the spirit? Because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. So there's a standard. 
And we know that those who love God, that's the key right there. We got to say all things work together for good because we're good for the Lord, for those who, who love God and who are called according to this purpose. So we go over it real quick. All those, they, it's, it's working out for my good. I know it's going to work out for my good, but the caveat to that all is do you love God? See, do you love God? But he said, okay, well, what does it mean, pastor? What do you mean, do I love God? Yeah, I come to church. Yeah, I pray. Yeah, I pay my tithe. Yeah, I do all these things. No, but the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen? So the thing here says that he will intercede for the saints according to the will of God. I'm getting ready to get out of here. And if you know that for those who love God, this is where it get good, y'all. This is where I say it's all good. Because I know we love God. All things, not just a quarter of them, half of them, not just your bank account, not just the house, not just the car, not just your job, not just your community, not just your church. All things, not just your children, your husband, your wife, your significant other, but all things, your family member, all things work Work is an action word. They work. See, stuff is happening all around us. Things in the spirit are working all around us. They're working all the time. But guess what? When you got God and you love God and you got the spirit of God in your life, they are working out for your good. Oh, hallelujah. That's a shout moment right there. I thank God for working it out for my good. I thank God for interceding. And when I don't know what to intercede for, when I don't know what to pray for, when I don't know what to do, I thank God for stepping in between me and the devil and pushing the devil out the way and saying, this is my son. My daughter, and he even says that in here, don't he? He says, because he will, he, for he knew, for knew, he also predestined to be conformed, what? To the image of his son. Mm -hmm. To the image of his son. So I'm a reflection. You are saints and friends and family. You are a reflection of the son. You are a reflection of God. You are a reflection of Jesus. You are a reflection. See, he is the big G. You are the little G. So stay G'd up. He the big G. You the little G. Right? Don't try to be the big G. That's when we get in trouble. When we want to we be the big G. Some people want to be all caps. I ain't capping now. But all, somebody want to be all caps. They want to be big G, big O, big D. Look at me. I'm God. And what do you see happen? They get sick. They can't heal themselves, though, can they? Nope. Uh-huh. Something started happening in their life. They can't do it themselves. They can't call it out themselves, can they? Nope. They need something, and the finances get low. So can bill need to get paid. I said, well, I thought you said you was God. Go on and snap your fingers and pay that bill. God, God got a way of humbling us, don't he? God will humble you real quick when you get out of pocket. You get out of pocket. God got a way of humbling you. So what am I saying, saints and friends? I'm saying, listen, we got to love God. That's what I'm saying. We got to love God. And if we love God, we keep his commandments. We let the spirit do what it need to do. We got to get out of ourselves. And we got to let this. If you know, there's been a theme of everything I've been preaching. God got me in this thing about getting out of yourself. We got to get out of ourselves. We get too caught up in ourselves. And that's why we're missing the spirit of God, the movement of God, because you're trying to put your little mind, pea brain mind, on trying to figure out God, and you can't do it with your pea brain mind. I'm not talking about nobody because I got a pea brain mind too. Because I'm not God. I'm a little G. So stop trying to figure God out. You can't do it. My ways are not your ways, the Bible says. My ways are not your ways. You ain't going to never understand my ways unless you get in me. You got to get in me even to understand me. How many know you got to pray even to understand the word of God? I pray before I even open my Bible. Lord, and you notice, I, God, give me wisdom and understanding of your word. God, shake my life with your word. God, help me, God, anoint me with your word. You got to open it up, reveal your word to me, God, because I can't understand it unless you allow me to. 
I don't try to act like, oh, because I went to some school and got a theology degree or because you went online and paid $99.99 and got you a certificate that say you're a bishop. Now you understand everything about God. The devil is a liar. If God don't give you understanding, then you ain't going to have it. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Bless, bless. So six, Psalm 68 and 19 said, blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us up with benefits. Even the God of our salvation, then he says Salah, which means pause. So understand, saints and friends, that blessed we are, we are from the Lord who daily, every single day, God is loading us up with benefits. So we got to understand these three, four keys, and I'm going to get out the way. Stay in the spirit so you can know what to pray. That's number one. I'm going to give you four keys. I'm going to get out here. Stay in the spirit so you can know what to pray Four, those prayer words, have you ever been in prayer and you, you know, you, some names come up, people you ain't ever thought about or heard about in a long time, God begin to bring them back to you. You begin to pray for people that you, you know, you wasn't even meaning to pray for. You went in prayer for something else. And as you get into prayer, you get in the spirit, God begin to just move. And before you know it, sometimes you don't even remember everything that you pray for because you so much in the spirit. That's how God wants us to pray. We got to pray till we lose ourselves. And just pray in the spirit and watch God move. Forget about yourself. He said with moanings and groanings, sometimes you, he'll have you just sit there just saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And you find yourself, next thing you know, you can start speaking in tongues. You don't know, but God begin to take over. So we got to stay in the spirit so you can know what to pray. Number two, if you love God, it's all good. If you love God, understand that it's all good. It doesn't matter what comes at you. It doesn't matter, amen, what your forces are against you. But if you love God, it is all good. Your health is going to be good. Your finances is going to be good. Your children, regardless how they look like, they might be on the corner right now, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Praise God. You may be going through a divorce or you may be contemplating this, that, or the third. But if you love God, remember something that is all good. So you got to understand when God is in it, he can fix any situation. He can guide you through any situation. He can deliver you from any situation. Number three, every day we get brand new mercies. Every day. Lamentations chapter three, verse 22 and 23 said, it is of the Lord, it is of the Lord, mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions faileth not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Every morning, brand new mercies. We clean every, every we, we come before Lord every day. God give us a brand new start of mercy. We got to take advantage of that. Thank you, Lord. Every day I get, thank you for the new mercy. It's Christmas every morning. Thank you, Jesus, for the new gift of mercy you gave me this morning. Help me to walk in this mercy this morning. Help me to walk in this grace today. Help me, amen, to be the little G and be the light of the world. Help me to, oh God, for people to see you in me and not me, myself, walking through as I show up, wherever I show up, God. Help it to be you that show up and you go before me, God, because I want to follow you. The Bible says the steps of a good man or, the, or woman are ordered by the Lord. God, I want you to show up before I show up. I want you to go before me. He said, follow me, right? Take up your cross. He told the disciples, take up your cross and follow me. He didn't say we was leading him. So that means he got to always be in the front. Sister Daly said something to me one time. She said, if you pull over and you let the devil in, she said, he'll kick you out the car and he'll start driving. And even before you know it, he's going to take over. If you give the devil an inch, he going to take a mile. So we got to let God stay in the driver's seat. We got to let God stay as the pilot. We got to let God, amen, lead, amen. And we can't be trying to lead the situation. Did you ask God? Did you ask God about it? But every decision that we make, we're supposed to seek him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God, God's way of doing things. The kingdom of God means God's way of doing things. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. So in every decision that we make, have we asked God? Or did we just, we got in the big G. We got in the big, we do it. We all do it. We all do it. I'm the first to raise my hand. We all do it. Oh, I, I, I know what to do. Did you ask God? 
Did you seek ye first the kingdom of God? And that's how we find ourselves in trouble. And number four, we're getting ready to close. Amen. Praise God. Number four, key number four. Every day we are loaded up with his benefits. I read that already. Every day, not only do we get new mercies every day, but every day, saints and friends and family, we're loaded up with God's benefits. God loves us. He loves you. And his benefit package is the best package in the world. There ain't nobody, Prudential, Allstate, Kodak, Xerox, Bosch and Lombs, Silicon Valley. There ain't nobody, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. There ain't nobody's benefit package as good as God. See, with God, it's all good. With them other people, they may have certain things that are good. They might have good health care. They may have good retirement. You ain't going to never find no agency that got all of it. Something ain't going to be all the way right. But with God, all things work together for our good. Because he said part two, he said, why? Because we are called. We've been called. God called each and every one of us. We understand how special we are. You are special. We are special to even be sitting in these chairs today and have been called and predestined to be where we are even at this very moment in this very space and time where we could have been lost our mind, could have been out there selling drugs, could have been out there walking the street and being a street walker, could have been strung out on drugs. Some of us have been delivered from some of these things, but you could still be out there. Amen. Some of us would have been dead. I know I would have definitely been dead the way I was carrying on. Some of us, amen, could have took one hit and that would have been your last hit. Some of you could have got some bad drugs. You could have got a bad joint and messed up your mind. I got friends who took one Mickey, got Mickeys in their drink, and they ain't never been the same. They mind all messed up because they took one drink that had something in it, but God saw fit that he chose you. He chose you out of the whole world to pluck you out of that evilness, to get you out of that death, to take your soul and bring it into heaven. God saw fit that you were so important to him that God said, not her, not him no devil you can't have them you can't have her the devil is a liar that is my child i'm plucking her out of hell i'm taking her soul she belongs to me he belongs to me you can't do that to them get your hands off of my child i love my child and no gates of hell are gonna do anything to my child god saw wherever you was at and he said no 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 not her not him that's my child and he said i'm plucking them out. I'm bringing them out into the marvelous light. I'm bringing them out of darkness. Oh, can I get a witness in here? That might have been you. It might have been on a Monday. It might have been on a Tuesday. It might have been on a Wednesday. It might have been on a Thursday. Oh, Lord, have mercy. It might have been Friday night. Friday night live. Oh, hallelujah. Super Saturday. It might have been for somebody. But I know for me, it was one Sunday morning. Oh, can I get a witness in here? When God came out of heaven, sent the Holy Ghost angel to pluck in my ear because the devil had me blind. I could not see. But the Bible says, my sheep will hear me. They'll know me by my voice. And there was a still small voice that said, this is my child. He said, Willie, he called me by my name. I said, who is that? Who is that? that uh, calling me uh, he said it's God uh, the Lord and Savior uh, the Alpha the Omega uh, the beginning and the end uh, he said I'm calling you uh, out of darkness uh, into this marvelous light uh, he said come unto me uh, he said I know you're labored uh, I know you're heavy laden uh, he said I know you're tired uh, he said I want to give you rest uh, do you want some rest uh, he said come unto me uh, all ye that labor uh, and heavy laden uh, he said come and get rest. I got rest for your soul. Rest for your spirit. Rest for your body. Rest for your mind. Rest for your children. Rest for your family. Rest for your business. Rest for your community. Rest for your household. Rest for your community. Rest for your children. Rest for your father. Rest for your mother. He said, come and get rest. Hallelujah. God want to give us rest. 
we was restless. The restless. I think it was a, a, a show said the young and the restless. Some of us was young and restless. God said, I want to give you rest. Then we came into this. He plucked us out of that. How many sleep more better? Better now you've been even God. You sleep better now you ever did in your life. When you came into God, you don't even worry about it no more. You roll over in that, you roll over in that bed and you say, God got it. I know that's me. I don't, I'm telling you, as much as busy as I am, I don't lose no sleep. That's just me. I can't talk about talking about else. I don't tarry and worry about nothing. I get in my bed, I give it to God, I turn over and That ain't me. I'm sorry. That ain't me. I'm, I'm not standing up four, five o'clock in the morning. No, the devil is a lie. I'm gonna give it to God. I'm gonna lay it on the altar, and I can't fix it no how. And God, once I lay it on there, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. It took a while to get there. Now I ain't always been like that, but that's me now. I'm not stressing myself out, having no heart attack, worrying about nothing. The devil is a liar. I'm going to give it to God and let God do it. Won't he do it? It's all good, saints and friends. It's all good. So Joyce Myers posted this this morning, and I reposted it because I thought it was very befitting. It says, allow God to be the glory and the lifter of your head. Psalms 3 and 3. He wants to lift everything. See, we got to allow him to. That's the key. We got to allow him. He wants to lift, Psalms 3 and 3, everything. Our hopes, our attitudes, our moods, our head, our hands, our heart, our entire lives. Remember, even when life doesn't go according to plan, that is all good. It's all good. If there's anybody today, anybody, anybody, who may not, we're not all in the same place. We're not all in the same place, and we're not supposed to be. That's the goal, but we're at different levels. We have some babes, you know, toddlers, Adolescents, adults, seniors, we're all at different levels. And I'm not talking about age, because they say age ain't nothing but a number. You can have people that have been in church for 70 years, 90 years old, 100 years old, whatever. I'm not talking about nobody specifically in this church, just in general, and can still be a babe in Christ. That's just the way, you know, it, it is. You can have a little baby. He said, out of the mouth of babies, let everything be established. You can have a little toddler child that could be so anointed and gifted and wise than an older person. Some are our babies. The Bible says in the last days, he's going to pour out his spirit among all flesh. The young will have visions. The old will dream dreams. We're going to have babies that's going to be dreaming, having visions and seeing things that we don't understand, that we don't see because of what his word. He, it, can't, it has to come to pass. But we're all at different levels. So maybe you're not there. Maybe you're not at that point. Maybe you do toil. You're still toiling at night. You still can't. You don't have the rest. Or you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. So in order for you to amen everything to be good, like the Bible says, you got to love God. And in order to love God, you got to know him. And in order to know him, you got to receive him. And in order to receive him, you got to accept the fact that you are a sinner. You got to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins. And you got to confess it with your mouth. And the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. For God so gave the world. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He loved you that he gave and he wants to give to you today. If there's one, if you're on Facebook and you want to give your life to Christ, simply say, Father, I accept the fact that I'm a sinner. I heard the man of God. I believe that all things are going to be good for me. 
I believe that, that you died on the cross for my sins. I'm confessing it, God. Come into my life and save me. I surrender. I turn it over to you, Father. If there's anybody here that desires prayer, I'm asking you to come. If you want prayer, if you just want prayer, you're saved, you sanctify, you fill with the Holy Ghost, but you want prayer. That's why the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. He gave us an opportunity where we come together and we touch and agree. Sometimes you need help. We are family. And sometimes that enemy feel like he jumping you with them imps and all that stuff. Feel like sometimes there's just so much on you sometimes. I know it do, but you need help. And we're here to help one another. Be helpless. The Bible said be helpless one of another. We're here to help each other. We're not here to fight each other. We're not here to tear each other down. We're not here to put each other down and judge each other and beat each other. That's not, that's not of God. That is the devil. The devil wants to keep us confused and keep us apart and keep us, uh, amen, at each other so we can't be out here at him. I'm too busy trying to get to him. I ain't got time. To, I'm not fighting you because that's not my job. My job is to love you. But I'm going to go fight the devil. I don't like the devil now. I don't like that devil. I don't like him. He don't like me and I don't like him. We got something in common. He don't like me. That's why I know where he at. Because when I come around and people, I ain't did nothing to them and they can't stand me, I know who it is. I know what it is. It ain't them. I don't get mad at them. It's not Tim. It's not John. It's not Sally. It's the devil. He know if you're really walking in God, if you're really walking in God in his spirit, people ain't going to like you. They didn't like Jesus. They hated him. They beat him. They put him on the cross and they whipped him. The savior of the world, they beat that man, horribly stabbed him in the side, pierced him. But he said, I was wounded for your transgressions. The chastisement of your peace was upon me, and by his stripes, you're healed. So they're not going to like you. Stop trying to be like this. Ain't, this that's the problem. The world trying to fool us with social media. How many likes do you get? How many likes? I got a thousand likes. So that means everybody, a thousand people like me. They don't like you. They don't even know you. It's not about how many likes. I don't care about how many likes. I need one person to like me. I want Jesus to like me, love me, love me. I want one like. I'm only getting trying to get one like, mother. One like. Come on, another one say one like to live. I want one like. I want Jesus to love me. I want him to love me because I love him. And he said, if I love him, I got to keep his commandments. And I'm striving. Listen to me, saints. We're striving. Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect in this building. Nobody. Nobody. All the way to the end of the book in Revelations. All the way to the end. Ain't no more chapters after that. It's done. It's over. And they went looking for a righteous person. They couldn't find nobody. They look everywhere. Under the earth, through the earth, in the sea, everywhere. They look at us at the end. We at the end. You mean all 1,200 chapters? You mean they can't, nobody, they couldn't find nobody? Peter, John, all these people, all, all this, they couldn't, the Bible said the elders begin to cry, they begin to weep because they couldn't find nobody. Then it said, then appeared. A lamb appeared. It was sat on the right hand side of the throne. It was Jesus. He the only one. He the only one that can live without spot or blemish. That can live so holy that without never done nothing wrong. It's only one person like that, and that's Jesus. Because guess what? If he wasn't, then we wouldn't have needed him. You you didn't die on the cross. You, 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 some of us can't even stand a little prick in the finger. A little prick. A little sliver. A little sliver from a piece of wood. Oh, God. Ah, ah. That hurt. They beat him. They beat him. Horrible beating. And he took that beating. He took it just for you. He took it just for me. He took that beating. Some of us would have got hit one time. <laughs> some of us would have got hit one time and would have been like I'm sorry but 
If it's them or me, it's them. You come on, you know I'm telling the truth. Some of us would have got hit one time. Oh, I'm out. Help us, God. It's all good. The reason why it's all good, because Jesus took it all. He bore it all. And it's already done. It ain't got to be done again. It's already done. He already did it, mother. We ain't got to do a re a do-over. This one movie that you ain't got to rewind. You can't play back this movie. It's already over. He already did it. It's already done. All we got to do is just receive it. Just receive it and believe it and walk in it. That's it. That's all we got to do. Amen. Listen, mother, which is our oldest mother in our church, God bless her precious heart because she care. And she said, I want to pray for all of our children. I'm standing in the gap for prayer for all of our children that are going back to school. Those are going back to regular, you know, from, element, from uh, kindergarten on up. And then she said, I want to pray for those who are going to college. And she said, then I want prayer for all the teachers that's teaching them. She said, I want prayer for all of them. Amen. So we're going to pray for that too. Pray for her household herself. Do you mind doing these prayers? Do you mind? Pray for her. Thank God for Mother here. This woman here got a lot of love in her heart. Y'all know that. Faithful woman, God Almighty. I think about a lot and pray for a lot because she's a wonderful woman, still holding on to God and changing hands. 91, 92, whatever it is, years old. And she's still faithful. She wants God to bless the children, save the children, bless the teachers. We all need to pray. Ain't that right, somebody? Amen. It's a serious thing, amen. When it comes to our teachers, our children, it's a serious thing. Amen. Praise God. Because a lot of them are going through school nowadays, the words, they're being taught different things too. Y'all know that. I ain't going to all that stuff of the world, but I mean, the devil trying to captivate their minds. But we got to pray, y'all. We're going to pray. We're going to pray, Mother. Thank God for you. We love you and God love you. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for our mother, God, your faithful servant, God. I mean, down through the years, she came, God. Through the weekdays, she was here. Sunday school, she was here, God. Lord, look on her right now. Her heart desires a prayer but for her children, her family, God, all the family members. We pray, God, that you watch over the family, that you will save them, God, those that are not saved, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, do it, Master. Do it, Master. Protect them going out and coming in, Lord. The enemy is out there. He's destroying so many of our young people, God. Destroying lives. But, God, we pray, God, cover them. Oh, what am I about to say? Cover them with your blood. Your blood, your blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood right now over our teachers, God. Oh, God, over everyone, God, in Jesus' name. And God, hold on the mother of God. Touch a knee, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Touch a knee. Oh, God, touch a knee, touch a knee, touch a knee. Touch a knee, God. Move the pain. Oh, God, move the pain. Use our healer. Use our deliverer, God. God, we depending on you, Lord. So put our trust in you, God. But here we are, God, in Jesus' name. We consider it being done. Hallelujah. We give it a praise right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say to you, Elijah, say to We got the victory. We have the victory. We have the victory. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. What does what she want? What you want God to do for you? My household, and you pray for my household and my children. Okay. Heavenly Father, likewise, God, 
I have a sister, God, she want prayer over household, children, family, in Jesus' name, concerned parent. Lord, have mercy, God. We are concerned, God. Our children need help. God, protect them, God. Going out and coming in, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the devil desire to sift them like wheat. He desire to destroy them. But we come against you right now, devil. You can't have them. I'm saying you can't have it. We speak to you right now, Satan. You can't have them. Jesus rebuke you, Satan. Jesus rebuke you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God cover the whole. God watch over them. No death, no sickness, no death, no death, no death, no sickness in Jesus' name. And God, hold up, God. Hold mother up, God. Hold up in Jesus' mighty name. And God, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for doing it. We thank you for doing it. We say it is so. It is so. We speak it right now. It is so. In Jesus' name. It's where it's going to be all right. I'm saying it's going to be all right. Gonna be all right. Yeah. Come on, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, keep in mind our youth department, please, sir, please, ma'am, uh, give to that cause as well as you consider uh, after your tithe, um, consider your offering going to our youth department. Thank you. Praise the Lord. God is good. He's working all things together for our good because we love him and we are the call according to his purpose. Thank you, Jesus. We got it made. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me, but I said we got it made in Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's made the way for us. I hope you have enjoyed the service today. Uh, God's presence was cer certainly here, and it still is. Uh, and we just want to continue to worship our God. Praise the Lord. He's our God. Hallelujah. And he's called us to worship him with an offering. Thank you, Jesus. We are not uh, uh, deviating from the service. This is part of the service. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and your giving not only supports this church, but it also enables us to keep spreading the gospel around the world. Praise the Lord. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 9 and 7, God loves a cheerful giver. Ain't that right? So let us give as each one purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. Uh, we have three ways that you can give. Our ushers are here to, if you need an offering envelope, you can give that way. Uh, secondly, you can also give online uh, to our church app, www.prayerhousecogbf.org. Or <clears throat> uh, you can download our church app from Google Play, Amazon, or Apple. Look for the Prayer House. Uh, Download and select the giving tab and follow the prompts thereafter. You can also give using Cash App. Cash App. Our Cash App handle is dollar sign Prayer House 270. Dollar sign Prayer House 270. And finally, you can mail your offering in to Prayer House Church of God by Faith, P.O. Box 30108. That's P.O. Box 30108, Rochester, New York zip code 14603. Uh, God has been good, and we want to give him thanks for all of his goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, real, we realize, God, that all of our good gifts are from you. Your word says they have come down from you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, we recognize that you are a great shepherd, the shepherd of the sheep. Hallelujah, God. That we shall not want, we shall have no lack, because you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we thank you, God. And Lord, your word says, surely, 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 your goodness and your mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. And we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we're going to pray off of our online service, and then we'll just actually just stay with it just for a few more minutes. I just got a couple of brief announcements. Father, we thank you for those who joined us online uh, via Facebook or Zoom. Um, God, we ask that you would bless, bless them to reach out to us so that we can uh, continue, God, to pray for them, continue to be there for them if they need. Oh, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you bless their households and you keep them, God. In Jesus' name we pray. And remember that we are a church where we believe what? That God is still working miracles.